Good morning, ninjas. It is so freaking cold, first and foremost. I mean, it's how cold, pizza? Too cold. Too cold. But I promised you on the last night's video that today, we are working, by the way. <clears throat> But we're going to go ahead and put this bad boy to the test. This is the company that sent this to me um, a while back, and I just haven't had a chance to uh, really uh, experience with it and check it out and uh, put it to the test. So that's what we are doing right now. We obviously got some wood. That's pizza's morning wood. and <laughs> But uh, we're going to put this bad boy to the test. So while I'm holding the camera, Pete's... Um, if you don't mind, please, sir, just uh, show them. Oh, ooh, <laughs> ooh! <laughs> Hold on, let's step outside. It's a little dark here. Oh, show us again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, first, before you open out, we want to say thanks to Fence Armor, right, Pete? Yes, thank you Fence. for uh, you know sending us some samples and um answering our questions because weren't me and you the one in that video that were like hey what do we use what would we use what's going on so uh they answered to us and uh so now we have something to try out so here we go let's see what's in there <laughs> all right okay so is that aluminum or something um, Metal? Aluminium? No. It's... What's it say? Hmm. By the way, guys, I have not opened this. I have not looked at this. I just left it. Um... They say they're made from American okay. metal. All right. Let's uh, let's keep seeing what's what else is in there. Looks like that's gonna be for a bigger. So there's for different sizes. Yeah, it's probably for a six by six. They're actually guys made from American galvanized steel. Galvanized steel. All right. Oh, look, you got different colors to match your uh, fence post, even black. Oh, th is that a clicker? Small, yeah, two pieces on. It's probably for a smaller. Like a mailbox or something? Mailbox or playground set or something. Okay, okay. So while while pizza's taking these out, guys. Look at uh, that one, American flag. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I like that. Um, <clears throat> they are powder coated, which is durable for 10 to 20 years. Some of this stuff, guys, I'm reading from an email, but a lot of it I've already looked into myself a while back when they contacted me and just looked them up and done my own research. But some of it I'm reading from the email. But uh, galvanized steel, durable for 10 to 20 years because um, uh, the powder coating that they use uh, self-tapping stainless steel crews for a firm hold basically you just put some screws in there or nails honestly it doesn't to me I don't think it would matter I guess would it pizza I don't think it would really matter um, so let's see they're saying it to position it at the center of your trim line not at the ground level for optimal protection. Pizza, do you want to elaborate on that? Why do you think that may be? I would say that they want it to be, instead of being directly on the ground level, uh -huh. they probably want it to be a little bit higher. Like that? Because if water gets down under here, you don't want the water setting in between this and the ground level mm -hmm. and causing a problem. It and freeze, rotting it, it or... Expand, pull it off, rotting the wood, whatever. Rotting the wood. Rotting the wood. All right. <laughs> okay, so... Nobody likes rotting wood. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. So uh, they want it at the trim trim level, not the ground level. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, there's 113 SKUs, guys, S-K-U-S. Right, it's a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. I might want to step in here because of that wind. Uh... And I think that's about it, guys. I mean, obviously, for your fence posts, your mailboxes, your decks, playgrounds, playgrounds everything that uh, um, that I've mentioned to you guys in that previous video, that when we are weed eating, what do you do and how do you go about it? That's the key here. Like, 
you know, what, what do you do? And how do you go about, you gotta weed eat, right? You gotta, you gotta weed eat the, the grass that's around the fen po fence posts and things like that. But how do you go, you don't want to hit people's fence posts because you'll be eating it up and the next thing you know, they gotta replace it and they could uh, also uh, blame it on you, of course, and make you replace it. But uh, it's just, so how do you go about it? You know, how do you go about it? A lot of people said pizza that, oh, just spray it, just spray it. Some okay. Some don't like that yellowy look around them. Yeah, what about the yellowy look? People, some people don't like the chemicals being sprayed in general, but also the yellow look that's just dead grass. So what about that? How do you go about that? Some people said, get down on your knees and pull it. <laughs> right, let's put this thing to the test. All right, Ninja, so two different trim lines I want to use to try these bad boys out. And the reason we left gaps here, guys, is we're going to try it out here with, uh, see how it holds up with the trim line. And then I'll pull it off when we're done. And then we're going to use here without it just to see how bad it damages the actual fence post same thing here same thing here same thing here so um we're gonna go ahead and use the 105 which is the new echo black diamond premium trim line uh and then also i'm gonna start with the new 95 so 0 095 and 0 0.105 so what's the by the way pizza uh real quick test for you what is the difference between the 95 and 105 one sticker one sticker okay the 105 right. sticker than the 105 95. sticker all right. If pizza now can just find the hole. I can always find the hole. You can always find the hole? Okay. I'm not buddy. You're not... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not buddy? Okay. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. Uh, that just tells me right there you miss buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that was with the .95. Instead of there was, we didn't give ourselves enough room in here, so we did it up here. But uh, if you look real close, look at the damage. All right, I could see over time if this was a customer's fence post, I could see this really getting worse, and I could see a customer, you know, complaining, noticing, whatever you want to call it. Um, You've also got to think the post is going to be in the ground and the bottom of it's normally going to be wet. Mm -hmm. So the wood's going to be a little softer. Right, and this is treated wood. We, we went ahead and got treated because most, most fence posts are treated wood. So, if not all. <clears throat> so, all right, that's, that's the wood part. Um, now we're going to test the .95 on all three of these and then we'll compare it and then we'll do the same thing with the 105. All right, let's go. Alright guys, so while pizza's changing it from the .95 to the 105, which is the thicker one, I do just want to show you real quickly um, up close. So here's the damage right there. Uh, and you can see it's just eating it up, especially on the edges. Uh, and if you can look right here, and I actually was staying in one spot for a long period of time to really see if there's going to be any damage shown. Like the American flag, I can see right there, you know. That it's obviously showing where it hit but it's holding up pretty good um obviously it's taking the beating f for the uh, fence post which is what it's supposed to do so same thing with this one i really don't see much damage at all <clears throat> and uh like i said i think this one because of the colors you can just vis visually see a little uh scratches where it's uh taking the beating so but that's the .95. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the .105, which is a lot thicker uh, trim line. And uh, we'll go see if it's uh, gonna make any difference. All right. All 
right, my ninjas. Uh, getting ready to conclude this video uh, as far as for this product. So what you just saw was with the 105 and it did severely more damage than the 95. I mean, you can tell guys, it was, it ate it up right here. It went straight through here and it just uh, really chewed it up. Didn't see much damage on this one uh, or any damage at all, actually. So, I mean, I see a little dirt, but um, the American flag and this one actually got a little chip. That's actually a chip. I'm, I'm actually feeling it on my finger. Um, it's just barely, but it's like a little chip. So that it's still, I ultimately think it still took the beating really well considering if you didn't have any of this and you were just i mean you could tell the difference guys would you rather have something like that like a little chip than that right on a piece of metal that's replaceable on a piece of metal that's replaceable versus having to pull your fence apart in order to pull the post up and put a new post in to put new concrete down to reattach everything. correct um yeah, and you can see the on the American flag one, it really took a uh, solid beating. And I know you guys can't really uh, feel it, but when I'm touching it with my finger, it's really taking a beating. Now, when me and Pizza were negotiating here, or I guess discussing, discussing would be the word. <laughs> um, there's a lot of this black beating, and um, Pizza, if you want to take just one section and see if that's actually f uh dirt because i was watching it and it looked like as you move the line the mm -hmm. black would be here and then it would go away and then it would come back but i honestly think it's the yeah. there it is okay so it's just the, what it is is uh is the paint the, no it's the plastic plastic from the, from the, the twine weed eater line from the weed eater line melting basically okay so it's not actually uh damaging let me watch this will go away the fence armor so Okay, yeah. yeah, that's pretty disgusting, Pete's, but <laughs> wipe it with your glove. Um, but uh, there you go. But honestly, guys, that right there took a pretty good chunk right here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in right there. See it? And, and that's with the 105. So again, I think it's a success. I think so, too. Because... Uh, uh, ultimately, if you didn't have these, this is what would be happening to your fence posts. So every time it gets weeded, every time it gets weeded, and a lot of these yards, guys, we have as a um, as weekly. And here it is again. We have as a as a weekly. You know, every week we're there weed eating. Um, Bi-weekly whatever guys so personally with that one just being chipped a little bit that american flag one basically it's got a little bit of scratches but nothing severely and a lot of that black stuff if not all of it was just from uh, the actual twine itself but i honestly think guys this is a success success <laughs> um and as I mentioned to you in the uh, couple other, a couple of videos back, I am the type of individual that if I like this, and this is something that um, works, I'm going to go ahead and present this to my customers starting this upcoming season and um, mention it to them. And every yard that I have that I see any kind of post, uh, post fence posts or anything, playgrounds, whatever, I'm going to say, hey, um, I've got something that might help you and help us uh, easier on us and protect your um, fence posts or playgrounds or whatever and um, you know see what they say but I, I definitely think that this is something I'm going to be mentioning as uh, we are getting ready to um, you know finish this season and start of next season so uh, guys again one more time from the fence armor thank you so much for uh, sending us these samples and really uh there oh there it is come over so here if you were to install these with screws mm -hmm. or nails either way i just pulled that one out it was done with a nail you install it with screws and you decide to move down the road and you don't want to leave your fence armor bring it with you bring it with you <laughs> done right and then this damage right here i'm guessing is from, from you just yeah. taking out the nail okay okay <clears throat> and it, you can see on here now guys better 
And now that he's taking this one off, you see right here is where it actually chipped some, uh, but nothing crazy, nothing severe. But I'm telling you that 105 is no joke. That, that thing is super thick and it will do some damage. So there you have it. I've cut down milkweed as big around as a golf ball with that 105. Right. Thank you to Fence Armor, seriously. To both of us, thank I Robert. think you really have answered our questions and we really were wondering and asking what the heck could we do to avoid all the damages that happens out in the field, 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 field. field. and uh, um, I think we've got the answer, I really do. So I will be contacting, by the way guys, really great company, small company. I'm all about supporting small company and uh, really nice people over there. I've spoken to quite a few of them uh, and uh, they're really cool. And I will be giving them a call, especially like I said, as we enter into the next season and um, we'll work something out where I'm gonna start offering this to my customers and uh, see how it goes. But ultimately, I think it was a success. Thank you again. And uh, we'll see you ninjas around again. Stay tuned. If I show more, if not, then this is it. We'll see you next week. What the heck was that? Was that your dab? Look at my dab. Look at my dab. <laughs> Look at my fence armor. Look at my fence armor. Hey, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> How are How's me? it going? You doing all right? Good. Good to see you. I know they will be happy to see you. They've been asking about you. Um, still dancing. Still dancing. Still dancing. <laughs> you uh, and me. Yeah, we pulled up and Buddy pulled up and uh, he saw us. So, heard you got a new job. Mm -hmm. How's that working out? Good. Good. Awesome. Good. Awesome. Um, is it the lawn care as yeah. well? Lawn care company? Lawn care. Um, yeah. We do different stuff. Um, Christmas lighting, different pressure washing, all that good stuff. You're doing Christmas lighting? Oh, yeah. So, you're up on a ladder and uh, mm -hmm. how's that? How's, are you, how are you with heights? Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, after the 30, 40 foot mark is where I get a little, uh, a little shaky there. Start getting the Tom Hanks thing. The same the ride, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so. not so much. As long as it's a flat roof, I'm okay. But when it's slanted, <laughs> I'm... Yeah. So uh, how difficult are they to hang and connect? And It's actually really easy. How many guys on a house? Usually three. Three guys? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Yeah, so. Well, what's funny is Pizza was just mentioning you this morning yeah, in our earlier little clip. Really? Yeah, and uh, he was saying something about how you can't find holes. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, we know he can find one. Oh. Only the back one, though. <laughs> See, we miss you, okay. pal. He's <laughs> always there. <laughs> But, uh, come on, Pete! Hey, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? He's a good guy, man. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. And so are you, man. And we do miss you. Yeah, I miss um, you. Maybe if ever opportunity comes around down the road again, yeah. you're more than welcome. Maybe we can try to work something out. Right. See how this, this job works out for you. Yeah. But, um, you know, and, and Buddy was just like earlier, he was like, uh, I'm sorry it didn't work out. And I'm like, dude, it's not personal. It never is, buddy. Yeah. All right. You're a good dude. All right. All right. <laughs> but good to see you. Good to see I know you. they'll be happy. Oh, yeah. Good to see you guys. <laughs> All right. We got to go. Later, guys. So when you work on Sundays, this is the kind of things that are going to happen. <clears throat> guys. You know one of those sayings, don't do this at home, don't work on Sundays. <laughs> so, we have the ladder here because we're gonna use it uh, later on in the day. So I'm trying to like squeeze in between the ladder and you know, the fender over there of the trailer. And look at this, man, this is not good. Yeah. And uh, so this falls and now my whole freaking turfy is the weight of the turfy is on the gate and it's stuck over here on the deck so what we're gonna do is gonna try to get try to get a jack up just enough underneath the gate if I can I don't think you can do it underneath the gate yeah, I can. can you 
and uh, jack it up so I can back out. But anyway, isn't that uh, fun, 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 guys? Fun, fun, fun. back in business just double checking make sure nothing broke also why you shouldn't work on Sunday pizza just had a blowout over here I told him to refill the grease gun and that grease gun's making all kinds of noises Be all hey, you are dripping grease everywhere, dude. Yeah. It's a Sunday. What do you expect? <laughs> it's so slippery. <laughs> so the tube of grease is inside. Came out of the locked position. <laughs> Still cross it. Anyway, let him figure that out. Well, we just finished this yard, and uh, nice stripies. So, so yeah, don't work Sundays. There you go. Pizza Sunday started out with morning wood. Yeah. Um, that's every morning. <laughs> that's every morning. <laughs> <laughs> we got like 15 on the list today. Monique, honey, you had 15 on the list. It's Sunday. Well, pizza's going to be gone all week next week. And I'm going to take it easy next week. And so we are squeezing the 15 into today uh, that we would normally do Monday. And plus, pizza, pizza needed some extra hours before he goes visits his family. Uh, and so it's kind of a win-win. I get to take it easy next week because we're going to be caught up after today. I'm mostly caught up. I'm still going to have to push quite a few into the following week because as I mentioned to you uh, last night's video, I'm, I'm taking it easy next week. Not going to be doing a whole lot of recording and I'm not, definitely not going to be any mowing. And uh, then we'll be back the week after Thanksgiving back in action again. So today, like I said, we're, uh, we're doing quite a few yards because... Pizza needs the extra hours, so he has some extra hours for the week that he will be with his family, and it'll keep me uh, keep me caught up and keep us on schedule. So, anyway, all right. I don't know if I you got it. I don't know if I'm going to show anything else or not. But uh, hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and order. Watch out, the grease. I'm going to go ahead and order that Milwaukee. Uh, I think it's an electric grease gun. I think is what I've seen. I actually saw one on Amazon. Uh, they're actually quite pricey, but I am getting really, really tired of fighting with this thing. We we pretty much have to like fight it every time we change a you know tube of grease, exchange it, and it's time consuming. Look look what he's doing right now. He's pumping, and um, with the electronic one, you just tick 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 done. Tick, 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 done. <laughs> See you, ninjas.